So here's part two. So then after all that happened in Florida, I decided to leave. So I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell a soul. And I left and I moved to North Carolina. This time, I didn't know that my niece was involved because, yeah, I didn't know that. So my other niece goes to me, Lena Masi, they Lena Auntie, why don't you just move to North Carolina? And I did, like an idiot. So I moved there, away from her, an hour away. And then she started to show me her shenanigans. I stayed with her aunt for two weeks, paid her aunt till I was finding a place to live, you know. I was going to purchase a place or rent a place or whatsoever, so I was still looking. So when I got there, and when I was there for a few days, you know, everything was fine. She was like, Lena Masi, Lena Masi, I love you, I love you, you you know, you're my family, blah, 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 you know. So, you know, I thought she was my niece and I love her, you know. But no. Uh, a few days when I was there... Somebody stole my purse. I had my passport in there. I, I had my driver's license in there. In the middle of the night when I was sleeping, her auntie, who, who was involved too, took my purse and put it outside by the garbage can. Spirit told me it was by the garbage can. After I I called her and I said, did you see my purse? And and, and she, she, she goes, are you sure? Are you sure you're being very forgetful? You know, you're getting really old. She's like telling me all this shit. And I'm like, I don't know what happened to my purse, but it disappeared. I know where I saw it last because I had it right next to my bed. So she made me think like I was fucking nuts, you know. But spirit, my my mom told me, go outside. It's by the garbage can. And I found my purse and I had my passport and all my legal documents in there. Yeah. So then I moved an hour away from her. And the day when I moved to my apartment there she called me on november 18 on the on the anniversary of my mom's death for set for six years at that time she goes i don't want to be um i, I don't want to be your uh, niece anymore because she knew i knew about her i didn't really tell her as yet but i knew but she knew i knew so she just starts shit you know and and anyways she used to go to an occult church where i moved in north carolina in greensboro so she was paying and getting uh, with the Masons to harass me in North Carolina. So by the time I even bought my apartment or stayed in the apartment, when I got there, I, I, I saw a camera there. I, I found cameras in my apartment because everybody was connected. All these people were putting cameras in all these places just to videotape me mm -hmm, and watch me. And they thought that I was going to unalive myself, but that never happened. But they were watching me and selling my videos overseas and making millions off it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I, think, I think it's called um, voyeurism. Shit like that, you know, yep. And I also found out that my ex-husband, when I was with him, when he was my husband, anytime I would have sex with him in my house, obviously he's my husband, you know what I mean? He was videotaping me because this was their plan to to get porn revenge thinking that I was doing porn with them which I'm not I'm having sex with my husband you know what I mean but they were they were videotaping me so in the end they can blackmail me for more money which I didn't even know I had and now they're trying to put it out there but they don't know that the feds know these people are going down and then they told everybody in North Carolina that I was a whore, that I was a prostitute. I could not even get a fucking job in that community. My niece rude, slandered my name, slandered it so bad in the whole community. Anytime I would even go to the grocery store, people would look at me weirdly. Even if I went to go apply for a job, they would not give me a job. Nope. Because she slandered my name. She said that I was a drug addict, I was a whore, I was a prostitute and I abused her children, that I sexually abused them. Just a whole bunch of fucking lies. But this niece of mine, she don't know. She can read the Bible all she wants, but her heart is so ill because she would always take the Bible out, you know. But you can take the Bible all you want. It's how you feel in your heart. So her heart was ugly, you know. 
And guess what? She doesn't know this is coming to her. She was part of this big thing too with everybody else, you know? Even my neighbor there was coming into my house, changing my locks, coming in and out of my house, harassing me. I had to leave the state of North Carolina. And then I ended up in New Hampshire. And then I ended up in other states. And I finally ended up in Alaska. And they still follow me till this effing day. They still break into my house. They, they do this, this whole occult. Yeah. And the cops don't listen. But guess what? He listens. Jesus is going to listen. Is listening, as a matter of fact. But my niece don't know everything she sabotaged to me. She's getting it 10 times. Like she has two children. Her kids are going to be taken away from her. Oh yeah. She's going to be ended up. I don't even know where I don't even want to say it because it's a surprise. I kind of know already, but she got some karma coming to her. Because you can't mess with an earth angel who has done nothing to you, but only provided for you all your life, helped you in your situations, helped you with whatever you needed. When your parents were going through, through a divorce, I helped you. I bought stuff for you because I loved you, girl. But no, you set me up in North Carolina. And you think that was powerful? No, girl. Do you know what's powerful? When I see you behind bars. And if you think I'm not going to uh, press any charges, you're going down. And you ain't coming up. And the, and you're going to lose your kids. And I'm not saying that your kids are going to die. Oh, no. I love children. No. You're going to lose custody of your children because you are going to jail. And that's going to be my testimony one day when I see you behind bars. Every one of you. And they continue. They, they continue to hack my phone. I've had 27 different fucking phones. And I refuse to get another phone right now because I'm not wasting any money. No. You want to hack my phone? You want to fuck with me? Go ahead. Bring it on, bitch. Because you don't know. You don't You don't even know what's going on. Wait till you see what happens, how this ends up to be. Many of you will be unaliving yourself because you know your phones have been tapped. All the criminal activity, all the plans. And I know that you put poison in my fasting food in North Carolina. And I was so deadly sick. Ended up in the hospital. And before I got there, you told the hospital that I was going to say that, all that, and they didn't believe me, and they didn't want to do a toxicology report on me after I told them to. And when they did a toxicology report, they actually printed out a different paper. I had to wait nine hours for a toxicology report. Imagine that, which wasn't even mine. But they don't know. Poison stays in your system for a long time. Bitch, I know these things. I'm a fucking nurse, you fucking hoe. But don't worry. You are going down. You and your husband, too. And if you think I'm scared, no, girl. And you, don't you ever call me Lena Masi from your fucking ugly fucking mouth. Because you wish I was your Masi. No. And one of your kids is is not a, actually he reincarnated. Oh yeah, he did. Good luck on that. But yeah, so this is my story, guys. Premeditated murder. How many times they're all going to jail for a long time? Have fun, toodles.